Hello everyone, this is Blood Queen Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Sagittarius. Sagittarius, this is your mid-monthly reading for March 2022. So this is for March the 15th to the 31st. Sagittarius, please keep in mind that this reading may or may not resonate with you. Some parts of the reading might resonate, other parts of the reading might not. As well, keep in mind that time is fluid. So this reading can manifest mid-March. It can manifest later on down the line in time. Or this present reading could be past energy for you. If this present reading is past energy for you, then there might be answers or closure for you in this present reading pertaining to your past situation or circumstance. Um, I did get a message for you, Sagittarius, during the pre-shuffle. And the message that I got was, um, there might be a lover that confuses you, Sagittarius, or you confuse a lover. Some type of lover. I don't know whether this, this lover is a third party or not, but um, there's some confusion going on concerning a romantic relationship. So, um, Sagittarius, here is I put your oracle for mid-March. Keep in mind that your oracle is also your overall energy for mid-March, and I'll put you an angel answer. Your oracle, I'm going to read from the book, but your angel answer, I'm not going to read from the book. So... The oracle that came out for you, Sagittarius, was tears of joy and sadness. This oracle is of the water element. So, Sagittarius, you can have water in your chart or you could be dealing with a, with a water sign. Tears of joy and sadness. So, um, Sagittarius, uh, mid-March, you might experience like um, opposites at the same time. Opposites at the same time. So this could be concerning your emotions. It doesn't necessarily have to, but I picked that up as well. You're going to be experiencing opposites at the same time. And again, your oracle say tears of joy and sadness. So let me read it. I don't even know why I put it back. It say this card may be an indication that you are struggling with tough times, or perhaps you are coming out the other side. Maybe both. Either way, stay strong and smile when you can, even if it even if it is through your tears. If this card doesn't represent you, perhaps it is a reminder that even those who present a happy face to the world may be hiding tears underneath. Be kind and give people the benefit of the doubt. You never know what they are dealing with behind closed doors. Wow. So Sagittarius, keep in mind, this is either your energy or somebody else. It say, if this card doesn't represent you, perhaps it is a reminder that even those who present who present a happy face to the world may be hiding tears underneath. Be kind and give people the benefit of the doubt. You never know what they are dealing with behind closed doors. All right. So your angel answer was remain positive. So Sagittarius, this is what your angels, this is their answer to you. Whatever your question may be, the angels is telling you to remain positive. So I'm going to pull y'all three tea leaf cards as well, Sagittarius. Give me two more for Sagittarius, mid-March 2022. Two, three. All right. All right. We have Sunrise. New creative ideas, new ventures, a fresh start. So Sagittarius, you or somebody else, you or somebody else more than likely you. Since, since this reading is for you, Sagittarius, you might experience new creative ideas, new ventures, a fresh start. This card to me is also like somebody giving birth. So Sagittarius, you or somebody else might give birth on um, mid-March. Sunrise could be somebody's birthday. Or Sagittarius, these new ideas or, 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 or some type of new venture or a fresh start could be your baby. Or you're pregnant with these new ideas, new ventures, and a fresh start. 
you could be pregnant with something, Sagittarius, whether you a male or a female. It doesn't have to be a person. It could be an idea. You could be pregnant with something or you're going to give birth to some type of dream you had or something like that. And then we have four leaf clover. Great good fortune. Mm-hmm. Yep. So Sagittarius, whatever these new creative ideas, new ventures, or this fresh start is, whether you're giving birth to it or you're pregnant with this thing, it's a great good fortune. And then we have a wow, needle and thread, a sincere wish will be granted. Oh yeah. So Sagittarius, something is definitely going to go your way mid-March. A sincere wish of yours, Sagittarius, will be granted. I also picked up Sagittarius that um, the, concerning this sunrise, these new creative ideas, new ventures, a fresh start. I heard you have to be picked. So it was like a, I don't know if this could be a job or you signing up for school, college. You have to be picked and they're going to pick you, Sagittarius. You're going to be picked for this, um, whatever this sunrise is. Sagittarius, you're either in charge of this sunrise or somebody else is in charge and someone um, has the power and authority to pick you or somebody else and they're going to pick you. Yeah, so new creative ideas, new ventures, a fresh start. There's a lot going on in this energy right here. But whatever this sunrise is, these new ideas, it's a great good fortune. And Sagittarius, something, about, something to do with this... Um, this great good fortune, a sincere wish will be granted. So you're going to get your wish around a great good fortune. So that's good. So Sagittarius, concerning your overall energy, tears of joy and sadness, whatever this great good fortune is, It's, it might be bittersweet for some of you guys. Situations might be bittersweet. So, for example, Sagittarius, you might get picked for a specific college, a specific job. But this your schooling or, or this job might um, cause you to have to move out of state or you might have to sacrifice um, time you spend with family. Yeah, some type of sacrifice you might have to make, Sagittarius. Something's going to be bittersweet. So, for example, Sagittarius, you might get a job, but they want you to work third shift. And you probably have kids or something like that. And depending on your lifestyle or your, you know, your schedule, your routine, third shift can be very hard. Especially if you have kids, depending on your situation. So, something, I'm, I'm giving that for an example. Something like that could be going on with you, Sagittarius. Yeah. Or your job, this new job might cause you, you might have to travel out of state or be out of town a lot or something like that. Things are going to be bittersweet for you, Sagittarius. All right. So what's going on with Sagittarius, man? March, what can Sagittarius expect? What's going on with Sagittarius? All right. We have judgment. So, Sagittarius, you're getting a second chance. You could be dealing with a Scorpio, and you have Scorpio in your chart. Yeah, Sagittarius, you're getting a second chance, or you're giving somebody else a second chance. Somebody's getting a second chance. Somebody's the set, judgment could also mean yes. It could be a yes card. So, I'm hearing yes. A sincere wish will be granted. Sagittarius, somebody's going to tell you yes. You're going to get a yes. And then we had a fight with swords. Yeah. So, Sagittarius, you could have air in your chart. Are you dealing with an air sign, a Libra, Aquarius, or a Gemini? Mm. Uh oh. Sagittarius, um. Sagittarius, you could have Scorpio in your chart and you could be dealing with an air sign. Or you dealing with somebody that got air in their chart. But Sagittarius, when you get something going to go your way, 
a wish is going to be granted for you, somebody else is going to feel defeated. Or Sagittarius, this five of swords could be you. This is like bittersweet. This is like bittersweet. So this five of swords is either you or somebody else. So Sagittarius, if this energy is you, it's like you got good news, you got the job, but it's going to require you to move, change locations, or sacrifice something. So something can be bittersweet. You got good news, but it's a downside to it. Or Sagittarius, I heard somebody's not going to want to see you coming because something's going to go your way and this other person is going to feel defeated. This energy right here is not going to want to see you coming, Sagittarius. Somebody feel defeated because you got a victory in the matter? Yeah. I heard something is going to go horribly wrong for somebody. I heard it just like that. Something's going to go horribly wrong for somebody in that five of swords. Sagittarius, be careful because I also just picked up two. This can be something like a car accident. And it's like, Sagittarius, you're going to survive it, but maybe your friend or whoever you was in the car with is not. You're going to survive it, but somebody else is not. Whatever this is. Yeah. And then we got the nine of wands. So, Sagittarius, this can definitely be you. This is fire energy. Or you could be dealing with another fire sign. A Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, Sagittarius, something is definitely going to be bittersweet. Sagittarius, this can also see, I see too, that you can be like in a in a band or like a, a group. This is a singing group, a rap group. But it's like Sagittarius, it's like your group might be, might get picked. But it's like Sagittarius, the, um, the producers or whoever this is, that's choosing you, they only want you. They don't want the other members of your group. So say like, for example, Sagittarius, you are a singer. And it could be a group of y'all. It could be three to four of y'all and y'all being or the singing group. It's like Sagittarius, they don't want, they don't want your, your, they don't want them. They want you. And Sagittarius, you're going to be upset. Yeah, something like that. Something is bittersweet. It's like your friends is disappointed, Sagittarius, because they picked you and not them. But it's like you're trying to defend your friends. You don't want them to feel defeated. You don't want them to feel left out. You like, why would you do that? We came here as a group. Why would you split us up? It's like, Sagittarius, you're trying to defend like your friends that you might have to leave behind. Yeah. Or this is like... um. This could be something a little bit um, like an emergency. Yeah, it could be something like an emergency. And um, like I said, I'm giving this for an example. This could be like a car accident, Sagittarius. And Sagittarius, you might make it and the other person might not. That's what I see. This could happen on the highway, Sagittarius. And this nine of wands, it's like you're trying to flag down traffic. Sagittarius, I don't know if you could be in a car with somebody and somebody might um like have a seizure or a fallout or something like that. You could be, this don't have to be a car accident. This could be, I don't know if you're the driver or the passenger, but somebody might like pass out or something. And you, I don't know. It's like you're trying to call for help or you telling people to stay back, get back, stay back. I also just saw two Sagittarius. You um, <laughs> you you're letting somebody have a fair one. So Sagittarius, I don't know if your kids could be fighting, and like two like two of your adult kids or your teenage kids could be fighting. That's them. They five of swords. 
And it's like Sagittarius, maybe another family another family member might break it up. And Sagittarius, you're going to be like, no, let them fight. Because Sagittarius, you could be tired of your kids fighting. Or it was a long time coming. Like, your kids or something. Or Sagittarius, this could be your siblings. Sagittarius, this is you and this your siblings. This fight or this argument was a long time coming. And um, Sagittarius, somebody else might try to break it up. And Sagittarius, you're going to be like, no, let them fight, let them argue, leave them alone. Because it was this was overdue. <clears throat> Something was bound to happen, that five of swords. And Sagittarius, you dare somebody to break it up. Yeah, you like this. You like, no, let them fight. Or let them argue or leave them alone. They, something like that. So it says, I also see you can own like a like a convenience store or a gas station or you work for like a gas station or something. You have your own little shop, whatever this is, or this is your shop or you work here. It's something, it's like a small business or something. That's what I'm saying, like a gas station or a convenience store. But it's either your Sagittarius or you work for them or you work, you just work here. But, um... Sagittarius, somebody might try to come and rob you, but you're going to get the upper hand over these people that was trying to rob you. And you're going to make them sit there and wait until the police get there. So, for example, Sagittarius, say like this is the gas station. Somehow or another, Sagittarius, you're going to get the other hand, uh, the upper hand over these robbers. And um, it's like you're going to lock them in, inside the store until the cops get there or something. Yeah. Something. Um, Sagittarius, I also see two of your friends might get into it. Or, um, it's like Sagittarius, one, it's like two people fighting and it's five of swords. I'm picking up two people is fighting or arguing. One of these people could have been your adversity, Sagittarius, and one of these other people was really your friend. But it's like Sagittarius, you you might find out like who is who. It's like Sagittarius, somebody was trying to create an illusion that your friend wasn't your friend. And this person had you going against your friend or something like that. But it's like Sagittarius, your friend is going to confront your fake friend. Your real friend is going to confront your fake friend and they're going to get into a bad fight or a or, um, bad argument. And Sagittarius, you telling them, nope, let them fight, yeah. Or let them argue or let something. Yeah, somebody could be confronting somebody too for you. Somebody could be confronting somebody. Somebody that could have lied on you or something. <clears throat> I see that too, somebody confronting somebody for you. All right, and then we had an empress. So Sagittarius, you could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus. You could have Libra or Taurus in your chart. Or you have Libra or Taurus in your chart. This can be a little bit of baby mama, baby daddy drama. Sagittarius, I don't know if, if it's if you're a female Sagittarius, it could be a woman. I don't know who's pregnant. You could be pregnant, Sagittarius, or the third party could be pregnant. Your friend could be pregnant. The fake friend could somebody pregnant. And somebody confronting somebody about being pregnant or somebody is confronting somebody, but they don't know that this person is pregnant. Something about a pregnancy, the empress. So I just you could be pregnant and it could be a Scorpio that's defending you. It's like the Scorpio is your real friend and maybe the air sign was the fake friend or something like that. Sagittarius, if 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 it was an air sign that was coming up against you, it was a Libra. And <laughs> one of these females just going to walk away because she could be pregnant. Yeah, this Libra just going to walk away. 
Because she could be pregnant. So it could have been more than one person involved. It could have been three to four people. Yeah. But somebody going to walk away. Yeah. They're not about to sit there and engage in a fight or argument because this person could be pregnant. Sagittarius, this is you or this could have been the air sign that was coming up against you. And the air sign could be a Libra. Don't have to be, though. <laughs> but this um, Libra is pregnant, so she leaving. Yeah. I hope they wasn't all air signs, Sagittarius. <laughs> it could have been like four air signs coming up against you. But one of them going to walk away. Because she could be pregnant. Well, Sagittarius, somebody is going to confront somebody for you because you're pregnant. So your friend, you might have a Scorpio friend. Your best friend could be a Scorpio. The Scorpio is going to like engage in an altercation to protect you because you're pregnant or something like that. Yeah, and then we had a hermit. Yeah, so uh, Sagittarius, you could be dealing with a Virgo. You got Virgo in your chart. Yeah. Oh, man, yeah. Uh-huh. Sagittarius, something might get exposed. You getting a sincere wish granted. This could even be a pregnancy. Sagittarius, you could be a female, and maybe it was other women that didn't want you to get pregnant by whoever you pregnant by, whether he's your divine masculine or not. And it's like when these women find out you're pregnant, Sagittarius, it's like they just going to walk away. Whatever this is, Sagittarius, people or a person is going to be upset, very disappointed. Um, maybe even somebody might get physically sick. Because you got something to go your way. Somebody might get physically sick. <laughs> wow. Yeah. It could be a Taurus, a Libra, a Virgo that might leave you alone, Sagittarius, because you're going to get something to go your way. Somebody know it's best to walk away from a situation, Sagittarius. It could be a Virgo. It could be a Libra, a Taurus. Damn. It's like they all walking away because Sagittarius, you getting a second chance. So that means it's like these people are saying if Sagittarius getting a second chance, that means we defeated. That means we're not going to get our way. That means if we keep going, we're going to get exposed. Let's walk away while we have the chance now without getting exposed. Let's leave Sagittarius alone. Yeah, it's like everybody turning their back on the situation. This um hermit energy and that Libra and this Empress energy. They leave in Sagittarius because you're getting a second chance. Yeah, and this hermit, it could be a Virgo, don't have to, but this Virgo, this hermit energy is like, it's the wisest decision for me to walk away. I know I'm I'm defeated or I'm going to get defeated. So let me leave Sagittarius alone. Sagittarius got a wish granted. So it's wisdom for this person right here to just let something go or leave you alone, Sagittarius. Yep. Yep, the three of pentacles, yeah. Um, Sagittarius, you could be have you could have Earth in your chart, or you could be dealing with an Earth sign, a Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo. Yeah, this could be, definitely be a Virgo. So we got Libra here twice and Virgo here twice. Yep. Yeah, some type of collaboration. Um, sometimes to me that Three of Pentacles could be somebody setting somebody up. Yeah, somebody plotting, setting somebody up. Yep. So again, Sagittarius, whatever this is, it could have been three to it could have been two to four people coming up against you. So I don't know, Sagittarius, if someone might um request like to do mediation or for you to make amends with someone. Um, if this could be your friend or something, Sagittarius, people gonna be like, oh, you know, Sagittarius, calm down. You know, Tay Tay, your friend, y'all been Y'all been cool since childhood. You know, don't let something small like this get in the way of y'all friendship. And Sagittarius, you're going to be like, bump that. Tay-Tay did me wrong. Tay-Tay betrayed me. Whatever Tay-Tay did or something like that. 
or Samantha or whoever, John, Alex. Yeah, it's like three these three people like, come on, y'all know better than that. Y'all always been friends or y'all been married or y'all been girlfriend and boyfriend or don't break up. Sagittarius, you could be pregnant and people could be telling you to stay with your person because you're pregnant. Um, don't leave them. Don't stuff like three of pentacles. Somebody's trying to mediate a situation. That's what I'm picking up. Somebody trying to mediate a situation. So, Sagittarius, the, the energy I'm picking up on is. It's like Sagittarius. <laughs> This is like Sagittarius, you getting ready to testify in court. The people who offended you is like already locked up. Waiting for the trial to begin or waiting to be sentenced or whatever this is. I'm giving this for an example of what I see going on in the cards. This is symbolically. So it's like Sagittarius, someone offended you or a group of people offended you. They're already locked up. They in jail. And it's like Sagittarius, your testimony is either going to, how they say it, um, your testimony is the testimony that will either break these people or make them. Like your fate, their fate is in your hands. So this is like these people, family members coming to you, Sagittarius, begging for mercy. Like, please renege, don't testify against my brother or don't testify against my cousin or I'll pay you however much. Please just don't, don't get up on the stand. Don't testify. Please. It's like somebody begging you, Sagittarius. Because it's like these, these two people already know it's best to leave you alone. And they trying to leave you alone, but it's too, it's kind of like too late, Sagittarius. But it's like something like that going on. I don't know if these people or this person was trying to steal something from you, Sagittarius. But it's like people begging you for mercy or they begging you not to say nothing or don't tell the truth or... Because it's like Sagittarius, if you tell the truth, then it's, it means defeat for somebody else. But it's like Sagittarius, you like saying, I got to do what's best, best for me. I got to do what's best for me, a second chance. I got to tell the truth. Something like that. Yeah, Sagittarius, you doing something that's best for you. Something, you got to do something. So I just hear, I'm picking up, if you a man, this could be something as simple as Sagittarius. You could be either married or you live with your girlfriend or your baby mother or whoever. And Sagittarius, you get into a big fight with this woman. And either you or maybe the cops, if the, if the cops were, were called. Sagittarius, if you a man, this woman could be making a big fight. Bus. She might be calling her family and friends and telling her family and friends you kicked her out. You don't want her no more. And it's like Sagittarius, you telling this girl family. All I told Shaniqua was we need to just be apart for tonight. Or all the cops told Shaniqua was y'all couldn't be under the same roof for the next 24 hours. It's like Sagittarius, if you a man, you're trying to reason or explain something to somebody. Like, it's not that serious. Or somebody lying. Or somebody's trying to cover something up. They're not telling the whole story. Yeah, it's like Sagittarius, you... Somebody is taking something, like, um to the extreme a little bit. I'm picking up, or Sagittarius, if you're a female, you could be in your masculine energy. Because I'm picking up masculine energy. But again, I'm, I'm going to give the example as if, Sagittarius, if you're a man. Yeah, it's like this woman. It's like y'all got into it. And the cops just told her, you know, leave Sagittarius' apartment for the night. Y'all can come back tomorrow after y'all cool down. It's like Sagittarius, your baby mother, she going to go off and tell her family that. You told her you wasn't taking care of the baby. 
And that's not even what was said, Sagittarius. And this woman might say, this woman, your child's mother or her family might say, oh, so you calling the empress a liar? That's what these people might say to you. So you're saying the empress is lying? And Sagittarius, you're going to be like, hell yeah, I'm saying the empress is lying. That's a lie. That ain't true. That's not what I said. That's not what the cops said. That's not what happened. Yeah, somebody could be saying, you got the audacity to say the emperor's lying. Yeah. <laughs> so I just hear somebody around you, it could be a lover, a friend, a childhood friend. Somebody around you, it's like people look up to this person because they're the emperor. So I don't know, so I just hear this, could, this could be a parent. This could be your ex, um, wife, husband. This is somebody. And this and people like, oh, you saying the emperor's lying? And Sagittarius, you like, yeah, that emperor's lying. I see that too. So I don't know, Sagittarius. It was either the empress or the hermit who could have been lying on you because of their position. Yeah, the empress and the hermit. These is major arcana. So this this could be somebody's position in life. The hermit could be like an investigator or something. The empress could be like your mother, child's mother, grandmother. um, Someone that's very successful, a businesswoman, something. Somebody of importance. It's like Sagittarius. Like I said, these people is like, how dare you say that the empress is lying? How dare you lie on the hermit, the investigator, the private? Yeah, Sagittarius, you like... They're lying. I don't care if they're the hermit or the empress. They're lying. Something like that, Sagittarius. You telling somebody. Yeah, a sincere wish will be granted. <clears throat> okay, what's the issue going on out here with Sagittarius? I don't want to know. Okay, so. All right, work, work, work. Okay, my angry bird. Always working, workaholic, all about their career hustle. Okay. All right. I think I see what's going on, too. It's an issue out here, Sagittarius. Either you got an issue with because somebody don't like the work. Um, or Sagittarius, you could, this could be a co-worker or something. Some type of partnership. And Sagittarius, you could be dealing with somebody who, who um, doesn't do any work but want to take all the credit. So Sagittarius, if you're dealing with a parent, this could you could be having a dispute with a parent. This could be a parent that abandoned you, but they want your respect, but they could have abandoned you as a child. This could be a coworker. Y'all work together, but it's like Sagittarius behind the boss back. Your coworker does nothing but want to take credit for the work that you did. This could be a lover who swear up and down they love you when they don't. Um, Sagittarius, somebody don't work. So this is working on a partnership or um a job, having a job. That's an issue. Somebody does not work. Or somebody's lazy. Um, I'm also picking up Sagittarius. You probably is or was considered lazy. You could have been unemployed for a long period of time, Sagittarius. Or you work part-time or you have, um what do they call it? What do they call them? Not you have like per diem jobs. You don't have like a stable work Sagittarius. And what might happen, Sagittarius, you might hit the lottery and people gonna be mad at you. Cause they feel as though you don't deserve it because you don't work or you've been unemployed for too long or you never had a stable job. You just did um what do people call that? Um you just had jobs here and there. So it's like Sagittarius, if you won like the lottery or something, or somebody in your family might gift you something or some type of inheritance, Sagittarius, somebody gonna be mad at you because they feel as though you don't deserve it because you don't work. Or you don't like the work, or these people think you're lazy or something like that. But anyway, work, 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 problematic. So this is another problem. Creates problems all the time, becomes a damn problem, headache dealing with them. Okay. 
All right. So I heard kind of like an even exchange. I heard an even exchange. Sagittarius, I'm kind of picking up somebody just don't like you. So it's like, it don't, it don't matter what you do, Sagittarius. This person not going to like you. Sagittarius, you did the, I'm picking up, you did the best you could in this situation. So basically, Sagittarius, maybe it could be you. You could be unemployed. Whatever, whatever. Sagittarius, this could be a lover. Sagittarius, you could be a man. And it could be a woman that went overboard or did something unnecessary to you because you're out of work right now. You're not working. So Sagittarius, say like you're a man and you marry or this is your baby mother. Your baby mother is upset because you unemployed or whatever. Or you could have got demoted. So it's like, Sagittarius, what you did was to compensate. So like you got demoted. So you went from working full-time to part-time. And you living with your baby mother. It's like, Sagittarius, what you do to make up for not being able to work full-time, when you get off of work early or you on your days off, you like go help your baby mother clean up around the house. So you like to take the trash out. You do things at home that you that you normally wouldn't do while you was working full time. So it's like Sagittarius, you wasn't really a problem. It's like you was unemployed or you got demoted, but you wasn't really a problem. So it's like, what are these people's issue with you really? Yeah, because problematic came out in reverse. So Sagittarius, somebody got a problem with you because you're not really a problem or you not the problem at all. Something like that. Yeah. Sagittarius, somebody trying to blame you for something or pin something on you. Or Sagittarius, somebody could have been lying on you about something. And they wanted you to behave a certain type of way so they can say, see, I told you Sagittarius was this. Sagittarius was a thief. Sagittarius is picky. Yeah. Sagittarius, somebody was gossiping about you. And this person or these people... Wanted you to be a problem for something or somebody so it can prove they lied to be true. But Sagittarius, you wasn't a problem. So somebody was exposed as a liar. Whoever was lying is going to get exposed mid-March. Yeah. Somebody was lying, Sagittarius. Or you was lying on somebody or somebody was lying on you. But it's going to get exposed. Mm-hmm. And then no chemistry came out in reverse. Like, yeah. So this could be, could have been like a third party or Sagittarius, somebody that could have been jealous of your love life or something. Yeah. Sagittarius, somebody is upset because you have chemistry with somebody and or somebody has chemistry with you and work love a life. So you had two to four people, Sagittarius, coming up against you to break you up from something or somebody this chemistry could be concerning your career, your bosses, your superiors, or a lover. Somebody. Or a best friend or something. Sagittarius, you have chemistry with somebody. It's a job or a friend, a lover. And there was people behind your back trying to break you up from this um person that you have chemistry with. Or this person has chemistry with you. And they could have been using the excuse that either you're, you don't work, you lazy, or you're like, you could be unemployed or you got demoted. Yeah. But wh whoever lied on you, Sagittarius, they're going to get exposed mid-March. They're going to be exposed. Whoever the person is that you have chemistry with, with or whatever this thing is that you have chemistry with, It's like Sagittarius, when this situation is exposed, you're only going to get closer to this person that they tried to break you up from or cause you to separate. You're only going to get closer to this person or this thing. So whatever these people is doing behind your back, Sagittarius, it's going to have an adverse effect. So Sagittarius, if these people was planning on breaking you and your lover up, it's like Sagittarius... You and your lover going to get married. It's like the total opposite going to happen. Sagittarius, if somebody wanted to get you fired, you might win the lottery. Yeah. 
Because it's like whatever these people is doing, like the total opposite is going to happen. Yeah, I mean literally the total opposite and probably then some. Yeah, it's like the audacity. <laughs> I don't know. This could have been spell work too that these people was doing to you. This could have been spell work. Something is going to backfire. So I'm guessing inside the tears, these people didn't want a sincere wish to be granted for you. And since they didn't want it to happen, it's going to happen. I don't know. Sagittarius, if you're a female, maybe it was somebody that didn't want you to get pregnant or have kids by this man. And you is. You might find out you're pregnant um, mid-March. And somebody did not want you to um have kids or be pregnant or something. Yeah, somebody mad because you're pregnant. So it could be your lover's ex or your lover's ex-family. Or something like that that's coming up against you because they find out you're pregnant. I also see two Sagittarius. These people, if you do, you could be pregnant now, Sagittarius, and you could be due soon, like any minute. These women could have been trying to. What are we in? Aries season? Yeah, Sagittarius, um, it's like Aries, your baby is, I mean, Sagittarius, your baby is supposed to be an Aries, and these people didn't want your child to be an Aries sun sign, or something like that. What season come after Aries? Can't think right, right now, I'm getting a little bit sleepy. But it's like, these people wanted to, like, um, delay your pregnancy or delay you from giving birth. If this is like a physical child, these people didn't want your child to be an Aries. It's like, yeah, I, yeah. Yeah, it's like you're going to have, you're going to give birth like unexpectedly. But these people was hoping and praying that your child wouldn't be an Aries or something. All right. Yeah, so again, Sagittarius, these people could be like um, people that's into astrology and birth charts and things like that. So either these people didn't want your child to be born in Aries season or something to do with Aries, the element, something. These people didn't want your child to be born in Aries season or... These people don't like airy season or something. Or something because of Aries. We in the season of Aries. These people didn't want you to make a move during airy season. I see that too. So again, this is either a birth or some type of idea you're um you're pregnant with or you're giving birth to this idea. And they didn't want you to do it in Aries season. Or these people did not want you to do something during Aries season. Something like that. Yeah, something like that. And I'm kind of picking up, you get this wish granted because it is Aries season. Or something like that. Something to do with Aries, the fire, um, that fire element. The sign of Aries. Something. All right. So what's the T with um judgment and the Empress? What's the T with judgment and the Empress? I don't went over. Yeah, always partying. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, Sagittarius, this might be people that you used to hang out with. Like some friends. I'm picking up a childhood friend. These could be people you've known for a long time or lovers that you've known for a long time. Yeah, like y'all party together, go out together. And it's like, yeah. It's like Sagittarius, you could be getting a second chance because you're always partying. And somebody feel as though you don't deserve something because you're always partying or something like that.
either way around it, Sagittarius, somebody in your business, somebody is being nosy. So Sagittarius, this could be somebody um gossiping about you and saying that you um you can't carry kids because you always drunk or you a drunk or your what what you call that? Your kids have um something. Somebody is like in your no being nosy, Sagittarius. Something. But it's like Sagittarius, you're gonna get a second chance in spite of like always partying. Or Sagittarius, these people always partying. And they could be jealous of you because you stopped partying. So these could be some old friends saying who Sagittarius think they is. Sagittarius not better than us because Sagittarius don't party no more. Or something like that. Somebody saying something. What's the tea with um five of swords and the hermit? Yeah, scarcity tactics. Yeah. Yeah. Sagittarius, these people was doing some type of scarcity tactic on you. And um, either these people is going to do this scarcity tactic against you and it's going to be successful, but you're going to get out of the situation. Or it's like they did this scarcity ta tactic towards you in the past. It worked, but you're still overcoming it. Like something is being reversed. Like in spite of their scarcity tactic, a sincere wish will still be granted for you, Sagittarius. Yeah. This could have definitely been some spell work. Yup, this could have been some spell work. I heard a binding spell. These people could have tried to bind up your womb, your fertility, your income, your money, your influence. They tried to bind something up with the five of swords and the hermit. Yeah. But you're going to get a second chance. What's the tea with the nine of wands and the three of pentacles? I can't believe I went over this much. Yeah. Then we got child services. It just flew on my lap. Kids at risk of being taken or is about to report something neglect or abuse. Yeah. Child services. Yep. And Sagittarius, this doesn't necessarily have to be like a child that's born. This could like be your fetus, your ovaries. Yeah. Somebody was trying to do something to your fertility or... Be in control of when you conceived or when you gave birth. They didn't want your child to be an Aries or something. But child services, yeah. Or this could literally be something to do with your child, a child that's born. Yeah, somebody collaborating, the three of pentacles. Um, Sagittarius, you also meant March could be closing out a, a child services case. That might get closed out. You might get declared innocent or the, the case is just going to be closed out or something like that with child services. Some type of collaboration. I also see two Sagittarius, some, some, some nosy neighbors or something could have called the cops on you. So, okay, Sagittarius, I'm going to give an example of what I see. But this could be like a culture thing or somebody was just being nosy or somebody just was power, like, um, what do you call it? Abusing their power or something like that. But it's like Sagittarius, say like you live wherever you live, it's a decent neighborhood. And your kids are pretty decent, you know, they decent people. But it just so happened that your kids, sometimes they don't get along. These could be teenagers or they're adult children. And um, Sagittarius, it could have been a situation where you let two like adults or two teenagers just fight. You just let them fight. And it could have been like old, like younger cousins around or younger kids playing in the yard or your neighbors was aware that you have younger children. It could have been in the house or something. But it's like Sagittarius, it's like you trying to explain to the judge or you told the cops, it's not a big deal. These is my kids. I know it wasn't going to get out of hand. I just let them fight because they fight all day. I got to break it up. So I just let them fight. So who called the cops on me? 
Like, you trying to get down to the bottom of something that somebody did that they didn't have to. Yeah, it's, it could have been a nosy neighbor or something. So, it says you can have two teenage kids and, like, a younger child. And they could have called the cops and was like, oh... Sagittarius, my neighbor, her two teenage kids is out there fighting. I, I, I believe she got a four-year-old or a five-year-old at home as well. And I don't know. Somebody get out here quick. Like something like that a neighbor could have did. But it's like Sagittarius, you tell her you're trying to explain to somebody that you had control of the situation. Something wasn't that serious. This could be something as simple as that. Like... It could have been younger kid, kids around, but it was like a family thing. Something was like about family. And it's like, Sagittarius, you just trying to tell somebody, I just, they started fighting, so I let them fight. Wasn't nobody in danger. They just had a, a fight. <laughs> That's it. It's like, Sagittarius, somebody trying to make a mountain out of a molehill. So I think you might get clear innocent or something, something to do with child services. Yeah, I'm picking up. If a situation like that happened, it was like some nosy neighbors. Um. Yeah, the Empress. I don't know if the Empress and that Hermit. It could be somebody on block watch duty, or somebody could be an undercover cop or a retired cop or something. Yeah, and besides, so this could have been some nosy neighbors who called the cops on you. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. All right, but that's what I have because I don't want over Sagittarius. You want you want this is almost an hour. So Sagittarius, I'm picking up something might get drawn out. This could be a court case. Somebody could be bringing you to court, Sagittarius, a neighbor complaining you a bad neighbor and it's not true. You just let your two, your kids or your two older cousins have a quick fight in the yard. And it's like, Sagittarius, somebody blowing something out of proportion. And they're going to be mad because you gonna, a wish is going to be granted. I, yeah, it's not like somebody blew something out of proportion. But I'm going to end it. This is Blood Queen Tarot. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and or share. <clears throat> and Sagittarius, please enjoy the remainder of March and thank you.